What up, everybody? It's your boy, the Smart Sneaky Head in the house, coming with a brand new video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Truly appreciate all the support. I know this is my first video of the year, so I want to wish everybody a very happy new year. Hope everybody's Christmas and New Year's Eve was fun, safe, and enjoyable with all your families and friends and loved ones. So without further ado, I'm going to get into this video. I'm going to do a quick story. A quick Grail talk story on my trifecta of Grails, the Reebok Shack attacks. As you know, I did a video, an unboxing video on these, and I said I was going to do a story on Hawaii and how these are my Grails. Picked these up from N the day before the Space Jam release. Easy, easy pickup. They're sold out now, but they're they're retroing again this year. So N had them early, super hyped to get them, but. To begin the story, let's travel back to 8th grade. That's when I first saw these shoes. And it's funny because prior to that time, never had any brand name sneakers, signature models, anything. My mother didn't know anything about sneaker culture, didn't care. You know, she was busy working two, three jobs. So all she was focused on was making sure we got to school, we did well in school, got good grades, everything. Even though I struggled a little bit. Um, one of my classmates actually had this pair on feet. I mean, make sure it's not too blurry for y'all, but had this pair on feet. And he wore them just like any other kid would, and I wanted them so bad. But of course, I think they were running about $100 at the time uh, when they dropped $80 to $100, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with the shoe. The, the thing that really just sold me besides the pump um, were the blue pods that I don't know what it was about the blue pods that just took my breath away so this whole blue pod and then the same thing with the tongue that's what sold me on the shoe so he had them for a couple months and I'm trying to figure out some way to get them allowance money whatever so after you know several months I was finally able to save maybe about seventy dollars it was anywhere between seventy to eighty bucks and he, he wore them several times, but not often. So they're still VNDS. So I actually told him, like, yo, will you be willing to sell me your pair for, you know, 70 to 80 bucks? Now, I didn't even know what size shoe he had, but I believe we were the same size, or he was a half size uh, larger than my foot. So he agreed to it, though. And man, I wish I had those pairs. I wish I had that pair right now because I would love to just look back and see how beat up they were and just see the difference between these retros right here and the original. Um, but yeah, man, that's my quick story. I bought them. I beat them down. You know, because in eighth grade, you're not thinking, oh, let me keep this VNDS 20 years down the line. And frankly, other than the Shack Attack and a couple of the AIs, like the answers and a few of the questions and all those, Reebok basketball sneakers don't really hold up in terms of like resale. It's mainly, you know, kamikazes were popular for a while. They, they, they don't have the same nostalgia, price tag, and resale value that Jordans or certain Nikes do. So, um, beat them up. I would do it again if I had the chance because they were, it was my first time ever having a signature sneaker from a brand name company. So I was super excited, man. I felt like the king with those on my feet, man. Nobody could tell me anything. I wore them everywhere because before that we were rocking, you know, just basic Nikes that you would find $20 Nikes or there would be pay less shoes. So we would have Sprint, Attack Force, you know, um... What was the other brand? I, a few other of those pay less brands. That's what we would rock. You know, and we would make the most of it because, again, money was, was tight. And we, that wasn't our focus. My mother's focus certainly wasn't on kicks. So that's why I love sneakers today and I collect sneakers is because I couldn't have those. And that's similar to a lot of sneakerheads. They couldn't have those shoes when they were younger. So now with them, with them like myself, being able to afford them, we start a collection. But... Yeah, um, not only I have these, but I also have two other Shack Attacks. This was a GR, the black and Azuri colorway, which to me is fire. This was one of the first sneakers I got as I started getting back into collecting back in like 2013, 2012, 2013. All black, super, super dope. And, uh, you know, it was under retail, so 
I have this pair. Then of course, some of my crowning jewels are the SNS pack of shoes, token 38 um, Shack attacks, and these some call them the reverse shacks, Shack attacks, the neon bodos, because this was a uh, collab that was based off the Blue Chips movie. Um, but there is one other collab that I'm looking for that was also based off the Blue Chips, and that was the original front, uh, the original Shack attack, which was I'll leave it right here, which had a blue suede and yellow suede. And it came with a jersey, a friend of the program jersey. These came with these uh, Shaq Attack first round pick socks. The Orlando Magic socks here, which was really dope. Um, but those kicks, I'm on a hunt for. And I know they're out there, but I don't want them for anything more than retail. So I'm going to keep hunting, keep looking. If anybody has them in a 10 and a half or 11 DS retail, let me know. I will cop them. But anyway, that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. You might see me in this shirt a couple times because I'll be doing uh, the Afro Trooper. Make sure y'all see Rogue One. Big Star Wars fan. That was that movie was dope. But yeah, you'll see me in the shirt because I'll probably be doing three or four videos today to drop either all today. I may just do one explosion of vids today or drop them throughout the week. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. It's your boy, the smart sneakerhead, and a brother is out. Peace.